Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Beretta 9mm USA here. And we've got another PSA rifle. This is the one that young Beretta wanted. It is the traditional 20 inch. It's very familiar to me. It reminds me a lot of my military one that I had in the Marine Corps. Anyway, the PSA 20 inch review is coming up next. So guys, in shooting my new Palmetto State Armory 20 inch A2 style rifle here, we use exclusively six hour elite performance ammunition. Here's the specs on it, 223 Remington. And we use exclusively Elander Steel Magazines. Beautiful anti-tilt follower right there. Very high quality magazines, outstanding. So guys, this rifle has the classic 20 inch barrel. However, it is made out of 4150 chrome molyvanium steel and it is nitride coated. You can see right here it has a 5.56 NATO chambering and a one in seven twist rate. The uh, profile of the barrel is A2 style. So it's, you know, thinner under the handguard, etc., etc. Still very, very high quality. And the 4150 barrel is considered by many to be the absolute best kind of steel you can get in a barrel. So you're, you're getting an up level uh, rifle barrel here on what's really a bargain price. Yeah, $550. Okay, not sure if uh, Young Breda covered it, but this rifle, because it's a 20 inch, it does have the rifle link gas system, which inherently, of course, is considered to be more reliable and uh, smoother shooting. Smoother shooting and less recoil, right? Quicker follow up shots, I mean, with a full size rifle. That's what I used in the Marine Corps the whole time um, back when I was in. So it's a larger rifle, but Young Breda was really interested in it because of its military background. This rifle also includes the mil-spec M16 bolt carrier group. So you're getting that for the same price. And of course, it just has the standard furniture. So very standard looking furniture. You changed this grip or did it come with this grip? I changed that. Okay, so you added this. So I did change some stuff on this rifle, you guys. It will come with a standard A2 grip, A2 stock, you know, standard foreign, that whole fare. I changed the safety also because I am left-handed. So I chose to take some liberties as far as changing stuff on this rifle. Put a uh, Raptor charging handle on it and, uh, and Radiant Weapons Talon safety. And then you added something to the sight in the yeah. front. I put a uh, high visibility Chevron style front sight in the uh, front sight base. So, you know, just trying to make it a little bit more ergonomic, a little bit more pleasing to what I wanted in this rifle. But nothing's really too expensive except for your Raptor charging handle. Yeah. Only had a few rounds in it. Let's reload one more time. So far, so good. Go. Try kneeling.
another Elander. One last thing I did want to cover on the full-size rifle here is what kind of trigger it has. No special coatings or anything to this trigger, it's just your basic trigger here. But it breaks really super nice. Nice reset. And again, right back in the trigger. It's pretty damn good, man. Yeah, that's how I like my triggers. I like them to have a, I don't care if they're heavy, but I love a good reset. That's the bottom line for me. Anything else you want to cover on the rifle? Yeah, one thing I do want to cover is uh, actually the carry handle. The rifles are supposed to come with a carry handle optic, and mine didn't when it came, so I actually uh, used uh, your old Rock River Arms carry handle when I put it on here oh. because I just didn't feel like contacting them and there wasn't any need to do that. But uh, obviously, if you guys get this rifle, it should come with the carry handle. If it doesn't, call PSA. They'll send one out to you. So you went with the full 20-inch, and I went with the 16-inch mid-length, guys, if you haven't seen that video. That one will be coming, or it's posted right before this one. Both the rifles uh, have been shot quite a bit, over 300 rounds of Sig Sauer's Elite Performance Ammunition. No issues with the magazines or the ammo or the rifle. We like it when things work, and these things seem to work just great on the first full day of shooting. So we're pretty happy with our PSAs and we do think that they have a great value. Yeah. So obviously guys, uh, this video was really short, but also I want to mention real quick. This is a old technology style rifle, you know, the 16 inch that Breda Senior has mid length. That's a better quote unquote fighting rifle compared to this. This is more old technology. This is nostalgia. This is, you know, <laughs> your Marine days, 1990s. It makes me think of also like uh, Vietnam, something like that. It's just cool. You wanted it because it was cool. It's the yeah. second, second type of cool. Yeah. You've always wanted one of these. I still have my full-size Colt Sporter 2, and you wanted something that was similar. Yeah, that's from 1987, right? Around there? 86. Oh. 1986 yeah. is when I bought my first AR. I can't believe you still have that. Yeah. Know? It's awesome. So guys, we thoroughly enjoyed testing out these PSA rifles. For more information, look to the pinned comment in the comment section below on this rifle. And definitely make sure to check out the other PSA rifle review video. That's going live. Yeah, that 16 inch mid length. I really enjoy it. And it's got a lot of Magpul furniture on it. So if yeah. you're looking for something that looks a little bit different, maybe a little more modern, that could be a great rifle to choose from. If you guys are interested in supporting us or supporting our channel, please check out our Patreon account. As you guys may know, most of our sponsors that help support the channel are listed in the description box of each video. So by you supporting them in a way, you're also helping support the channel. So we really appreciate that. Our two newest sponsors are Sportsman's Guide and Tracker Safe. Absolutely, and Tracker Safe is giving us a 10% discount that we're extending to you by using B9 USA on their website page. You put that in, you get 10% off and free shipping. Yeah. So that's kind of good. So if you guys are in the market for a gun safe, at least go check them out and see what they have, see what you guys think. They also have some really cool smaller safes too. Yeah. That if you only own a couple handguns, you can get one of those, and those are fairly cost effective. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, Beretta 9mm USA, and support us on Patreon for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future.